field, the captains are number 84, Carlos Alexander. Number 35, that's Nathan Holmes. And number one, the toss coach. Talking to them. They have elected to defer to the second half. So Riverdale will get four right now. That clock's working 1056, kids. Yancey getting a play call from Kelly Holcomb, the guy that played at MTSU. Two-step drop, he fakes, swings the other way and throws it out. Oh, a beautiful pass, Coach. He ends up with the first down, completes it to number 25, and that's going to be C.J. Johnson, the junior. A fake, a fake to the left, Stork, and he just run a slant there. Stopped in Owen out of a shotgun. Snap, kind of shaky. Boy, wrapped up quick by number six, Marcus Lloyd. Jet sweep there, Stork, uh, and it was a huge loss. Uh, definitely not the way they want to know out of a shotgun. And third down. Completes it to number 12, and he's got some yardage. He's got the first down, Coach, up to the 50. He's in the Riverdale territory and up to the 43-yard line. Run a slant, Stork. Had a, had, had a ball spread out. Run a quick slant. He was a very quick and very safe pass. And you know what? About a 17-yard gain. The completion was here. And, I'm, and I, mean, I, mean what's, I mean a touchdown here. To put this Riverdale team, put them in a little bit of a panic yeah. mode. Put the pressure on them. From the 21, Stockton Owen pulls it from Stamps. Looking downfield. Got to complete it. He's got it to number two. He's still on his feet, kids. Nice play, Stork. I'm going to tell you what. I, I like this quarterback, Stork. He stayed in there, bought some time, and you know what? Just hit an open receiver, just a little old vertical right down the field. He just outmaneuvered him. The kid's quick. Well, the ball's in between the seven and eight, and Stockton Owens looking to score. He's operating out of a shotgun all alone. Riverdale's bringing some pressure now. Stockton Owens, Stockton Owens. Did he score? He got a touchdown. Touchdown, Cookville. Touchdown, Stockton Owens. Cookville's on the board, kids. Four. I would be not in panic mode, but just a little, little surprised at the fight, these Cavaliers. Absolutely. Coming out with some fight. And he got it. Be waiting for that text from Dean Fox. He'll give us that drive report and that stat. Dean Fox, the fox that rocks. Waiting on like him. To somebody got a safety coach. Uh, that's what it sounds like. Taylor Yancey operates out of a shotgun. Drew Smith. And they let Smith have it. Smith. He's got, oh, he's got 10, 11, 15, 20, 22. Man, he brings the ball into Cookville territory. Violent runner, coach. Tackle by Stop. number. No one out of a shotgun. Jacob Stamps to the right. Twins to the top. Nobody down here looks like by us. Fakes it to Stamps. Play action. Here we go, Edie. It looks like he's going to get a first down. <laughs> well, that was a good play, Stork. It, you know, he went, he went, it, it was just, he went down and been back up and caught it and a comeback. Just a comeback route. And, you know, these guys are, you know, they're building some confidence. Appreciate everybody. Listening in, Knox Cat 7, Innsworth 0. So my boy Tyler Barron doing some damage. Stockton Owen on a Wildcat. And he's not much of a cat himself because he's going to get wrapped up real quick in a dangerous move. Somebody's lost their lid. A little bit of chippiness going on. That looks like a Cookville kid. He'll have to. And, and Owen's been hitting them. Stockton Owen lost his lid. He had to go out. We're running with number 7. Drew Dial as a quarterback on a second down situation. Dial's going to try to take it on a Wildcat. And that wasn't smart as number 78, Jelani Lyles, brought him to the ground. They lost about three. Drew Smith up the middle. Drew Smith's going to bust one. 40, 35, up to the 30-yard line. Well, they're leaning on him, and and I would say that Kreisky, that man, that they ran that one right it right in the gut right there, and uh, and this and that may be what they need to do to line it up and just run it right at them, right right. I mean, right in the gut, man, run that ball right in the two hole, then Stork. Yeah, and you know what you're screaming? Do it again, do it again. Oh, uh, you know me. That's what I'm gonna do. If it, if, if if they can't stop it, I'm gonna keep doing it till they stop it. <laughs> Drew Smith to the left of Taylor Yancey. That will open up a lot of other things. Coach Holcomb's caught in the offense. He also played for the Cleveland Browns, started some games there. 
You I, like that play? Don't I like you, coach? that play. Uh, little. Oh, what a block downfield! Touchdown! It's number 17. Flattened the corner. DJ Moyers touchdown. Moyers touchdown. Riverdale Warriors. Just a little out right there, and it was a tremendous block downfield. Well, the fox at rocks. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna have. Uh, he's working hard. Hold on, we got a score from North Little Rock at White uh, Whitehaven game, Coach. Who are they playing, Rogers Stork? Or who no, they North Little Rock's against oh, okay. Whitehaven. Whitehaven three, North Little Rock zero. Here we go. Uh, I got those second and four. He got six on that. He's going to go back to Drew Smith, who's laying on the left of him. Long count. Now they're going to switch it. Google man to man on the outside. They do have a strong safety and a, a, a safety in the middle of the field. Doreen Hollis is at the top, and he gives it to Drew Smith. Drew Smith, man, just he bounced it out, Stork. I don't think the hole. I, I don't think that's where he was supposed to run it, but it, the, the middle was clogged up. And he just bounced it outside. Nobody there. Nobody there. I mean, and he's he's got really good vision. Smith, are they gonna fake it to Smith and Yan and uh, Yancey will keep it? That's I what don't I'm think looking. you have to throw it. Ball's on the 35. He pulls it from Smith. He's looking downfield. Wide open start. Money. He's on the three. Yeah. And nice that, play. That's number three, Doreen Hollis, the senior wide receiver. Had a little bit of play action there, Stork, and he was just wide open downfield. First and go. Well, run, run they're, really, the middle, they're really strong right here, Stork. And that's where they're going to run. He's in there, Story. Yeah. Touchdown, Drew Smith. Touchdown, Riverdale Warriors. They're up. Looks like seven, but you would have to think if Riverdale may be wearing on them just a little bit. Well, you know, Cookville's going to get the start, the ball at the start of the second half. The PAT is going to be good. 14-7, Coach. 14-7. Cookville's still in it. They're doing, you know, they just need to continue. It looks like Riverdale's not bringing anybody blitzing. They're dropping backs. They may have to do a little bit. Of well, you know what Riverdale wants to do? All right, this. They want to get the ball back, and they may have gotten it. That's just what I was getting ready to say. They want to try to cause. They want to try to cause confusion. Let's see what we got. Ben Lawson wears the white hat. It looks like Riverdale's got it. They're saying they do, Stork. Yeah, they do. Mm. You got to be careful right now if you're cooking. Well, you don't want the wheel. They hadn't been on the field that long, but, you know, you, they're a little bit undersized, uh, Cookville is, especially in the linebackers. Drew Smith to the right of Taylor Yancey. Pulls it from Smith. Hit him on a slant. Complete to Caleb Moore, number seven. Cookville he brought some pressure from the outside store, and uh, he picked it up, hit him on a slant, and uh, just uh, – he got had some poor tackling down there, and he wound up getting about five more. Well, it's going to be. Oh, boy. That was a good play. Yeah, they completed it to number seven, Caleb Moore, but number two, B.J. Billen was there on the stop. That was an old school stadium with no track. Really nice place. They faked it to Smith. Hot pass, Stork. You love that hot pass. Complete to number 17, Alex Mitchell, the sophomore. Only thing I like better is Tim Tebow's jump pass down there. Make it almost 14. They're not one-dimensional. They're really spreading it out. I mean, and they're using a lot of different guys. And, uh, you know, 6.43 to go, 21-7. And they didn't they, – I mean, you know, Fox is going to hit us here. What? Stockton Owen, the quarterback for the Cavs, first and ten. Fakes it, looking downfield. Boy, he's, he's got open, Stork. Boy, he completes it to number five, Braden Nivens. Run a vertical there, Stork, and uh, uh, Owen got him the ball. They had they had one guy run out, run a vertical. Nice play. Not scared of nothing. Stockton Owen from a shotgun. Stamps is down here by us. He likes throwing to him. Stamps in motion. Pulls it from Stamps. Stockton Owen again on a rush. He He's going to get in there. Touchdown, Owen. <laughs> Touchdown, Cookville Cavaliers. 
Boy, this kid is tough, Stork. I tell you what, it, uh, it was worth coming here to see him play, Stork. I mean, they'll have to get in the third quarter, and then it'll be a quick 24 minutes, won't it, Coach? It will. I tell you what, they played such <laughs> – their first two games was was really tough. Oh, and, I don't uh, want any piece of it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, and uh, – and, and you knew when they got by those two games that Blackman was really going to take off. Absolutely. This here could determine what they do in the next play or two. Twins at the top. Taylor Yancey going to run. Gonna throw. He's going to let He's it open. go. Start. Take a shot. He's got it. 20, 10, 5. Oh, he's oh, he the ball. Up. It's in the end zone. It's out of the end zone. It's a touchback. It's a Boy, touchback. Stork. That's a big one. Wow. Boy, Cookville really dodged a bullet there. That Hot dogs and hamburgers still full price, Coach Edie. We, we can't get, <laughs> still full price. Here we go. Third down. The third and two. Stockton Owen out of a shotgun. Buck 11. Pulls it. Oh. Look, Look at this, this. Stort. <laughs> they finally lassoed him, but boy number 31 wanted him bad. That's Elijah Herring. He wrapped him up and then he squirted out of Herring's arms. And then. He's in trouble, coach. He got it. Fall to the earth. Sacked. Number 87. Ethan Cumby put pressure on him, Stork. That's going to end the half. Riverdale's right. not even going to take another shot at it. Kids, we're going to take a break. We'll show you. Craiger has sent a score to Sam Montgomery. Innsworth 19, Knox Calf 14, and that's Ed Innsworth, so that game's getting going. Fakes that jet sweep, didn't he? Yep, and run the ball right up, and it was a good play. I mean, just, you know, it freezes those linebackers doing that because he's got so much speed on the outside. So, and I think, I hate, I'm going to be honest, I think they can do that all night long. I really do. Drew Smith on the carry. He's got several carries tonight, and the chain game moves, and the box man will reset it to running play, so that clock continues to work. 9-15, 9-14. Taylor Yancey out of a shotgun. Drew Smith to his right. Pulls it from Smith and looking downfield. He's got him. He's completed the number one, DJ Moyers. Moyers up to the 15, coach. Nice safe play. Just just a little low, just a little low screen right to the outside there. Uh, hard to tackle. Uh, hard to see back there. Drew Smith just to the left of Taylor Yancey, and they let him have it. He's just going to walk right in. Touchdown, Drew Smith. Touchdown, that, that just looked too easy. As always, Coach, as always. You sure will. 7.26 left in the third, and you got the ball, and that's good, Coach. That's good. Yep. 28-14 now. I mean, you got to keep it out of their hands. If they get it back and they score Cornersville, it's tied in the fourth at zeros. Cornersville, Moore County, kids. Looky here. Stockton Owen completes it across the middle, kids. Up to the 40-yard line. He's got the first down, and he completes it to number two, B.J. Billen. And we're going to and we're going to have a uh, rough in the passer on top of it. So we're going to add 15 more to it. Mm -mm -mm. So that'll be. I've never beat them. I've never beaten them. Never beaten them. Not since not since the Dobbs era. Stockton Owen, who's managed the game real well, and he's got it just on the Riverdale 46. He's going to operate out of a shotgun. Oh, oh, he completes it, kids. The and he fumbled in. the ball, Stork, and then uh, they had another guy pick it up. They picked it up, number 28, Hayden Eschenbachler. Oh, I take it. That was a that was a chain of events. Dr. Owen's doing a real good job right here, kids. First and ten. Right up the middle. Coach. Look at this, Stork. Stamps. Stamps down to about the six yard line. Riverdale is it's going to be hard. I just don't think they can hold them for scoring the rest of the game. Well, yeah, you got to come up with a defensive stop somewhere in this dig. So he's going to get three here, hopefully. And he does. 
I mean, it's 6A ball. You should get three if you go for it. He got three, so it's 28 17. You know. Hang tight. Taylor Yancey out of the shotgun, and they let Drew Smith have it. Left side, kids. Gosh, 10, 15, 20, 20. Oh, look at up it. Up to the 15. He's just pushing guys and shoving. Out of 30-yard carry. Man, he really gashed him there. He just bounces. Got really, he's got really good vision, Stewart. Again, he well, well, we're going to get to see Caleb Moore. 32-yard field goal, Coach. Well, crowd's really cheering. Got a good student section over there, too. Oh, he bobbled the, the – oh, he missed it, Stuart. The, the snap was bobbled. The hold, he couldn't get it down. And uh, that's Coach Holcomb's son, the holder is. Okay. Yeah, It'll be a factor, too, because uh, they really – running the ball don't have much offense other than Smith. They don't look like to me. Stockton Owen from a shotgun. Got a guy open, store Had him open. He just held on to it too long. Yeah, he should have dumped it if he could or gotten out and ditched it. Boy, that sack really hurt you. Lost about seven, eight yards, and you don't. They've done a good job making them uh, uh, play at half the field all night. I mean, it's night. not over, but at the same time, we don't know about Drew Smith. And if he can come back. Generally, when you cramp up like that, Mike, you just you can't get the fluids back in them without IVs. We're just not that. Oh, he's got a. Wow, 25 for Riverdale. Look at that downhill, straight ahead running by C.J. Johnson. Yeah, he caught it, and uh, they played half the field. They had him where they wanted him, and he just, he's really fast. You didn't see the other end of that, that, that long chain, did you? I didn't see it. You kept looking for it his other way. <laughs> You're looking at the screen like me. Taylor Yancey out of a shotgun, fakes it to Ja'Cory Curry. Did you, like, did you like that? Yeah. Finally got C.J. Johnson into the end zone, number 25. Touchdown, Johnson. Touchdown, Riverdale. Well, if we know one thing about Riverdale, they can run a slant. They've run them all. There. Oakland 55, Siegel 16 in the fourth. Innsworth 26, Knox Catholic 14. Udawa 31, William Blunt 7. So, Phillip not doing well. No, Phillip's going to drop to one and two. What is his record at William Blunt store? You know that I'm. I mean, time is a factor, but you know, 35. You got to take it one score at a time. Stockton Owen out of a shotgun. You know he's going to be throwing. He's got to get a few back. Connects with number five, Braden Nivens. Nice play. Well, at some point he is going to, have to start throwing it downfield, and then. Uh, they're still electing a short game right now. Uh, get another. Same one. Yeah. Nivens, first down. And Coach brings it into their territory just about on the 43-yard line. Just trying to tally out. And we just heard the cannon go off. And that's the end of that. Actually, my phone's about to die. I'm at 11%. Let's see if we can get a hold of the Fox. If not, our audio is...